would it take to change the world? Rotary International is the world's first service club organization with more than 1.2 million members in 33,000 clubs worldwide. Rotary Club members are volunteers who work locally, regionally and internationally to combat hunger, improve health and sanitation, provide education and job training and promote peace under the motto, Service Above Self. Although Rotary Clubs develop autonomous service programs, all Rotarians are united in a global campaign to eradicate polio. Rotarians are currently being challenged to raise $200 million in addition to the $355 million in challenge grants received from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. In 1979, the Rotary Club of Charlottetown reached a total membership of 150, and it was determined that the community could sustain a second club. A steering committee was formed and began planning in February 1979. Several dozen prospective members were approached and on June 21st, 1979, the new club held its charter meeting and the Rotary Club of Hillsboro was born. Frank Zakem was elected as charter president, followed by Sinclair Cutcliffe in 1981. Uh, in essence, it was rather uh, impressive how a relatively small group of individuals who otherwise weren't very well connected had come together at a relatively young age and formed a club uh, with all the assistance from our seniors and our mentors uh, that started off very modestly but then got into second gear fairly quickly when Frank Lewis came up with the idea of the car dinner. And there would be 300 people invited to it and the tickets would be $125 each and Ernie Brennan was our chartered accountant member and he found out in those days that they could be tax deductible. So it was a huge success that year and it has been ever since. And although it's not just about the money it's the effect that the money and other things have done uh, for the community on a variety of levels, predominantly locally, but also nationally and internationally. Since 1974, the Rotary Club of Hillsboro membership has been a strong and vital organization, leveraging substantial revenues into important humanitarian efforts. In total, the club has raised over $3 million for community and international projects. The flagship fundraiser, the annual car dinner, along with other club fundraisers including the Luxury House Lottery, the Labatt 24-Hour Relay, the Confederation Bridge Lottery, and the Trip of the Month Lottery have driven this success. Labatt 24-Hour Relay. We developed this project in concert with the Heart and Stroke Foundation and the Canadian Cancer Society, both PEI branches of those. And in our first year, we raised nearly $150,000 off the project, which was held at UPEI the last week of June. And the second year, we raised over $200,000 on the project. And in all, over the years, our, 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 our contributions to charity from the Labatt 24-Hour Relay were over $500,000. We received no funding from outside sources, so we're 100% dependent on our fundraising activities to provide the programs that we do. So there's absolutely a very direct benefit that when we raise a dollar, that's a dollar that we can give out to the community in, in the way of programs. So that's why it's vital that we keep uh, young and fresh ideas as a club, keep the club members engaged in our fundraising activities, and quite frankly, keep the broader community engaged in our fundraising activities. One of the most impressive contributions made by the club was a grant of $329,000 to assist in the purchase of a nuclear medicine spec camera as well as the original Lifeline service. The club was recognized as one of the largest benefactors and also recognized as a silver level donor. And this dual head camera has made a huge impact on Islanders, on uh, us being able to uh, image using both cameras at the same time. We've introduced new studies that save islanders from going out of province and uh, we do an awful lot of bone imaging for oncology department and uh, that camera has impacted greatly in providing a much speedier service for patients and probably more comfortable for the patients also. Some of the more recognizable beneficiaries in our community for the work we do would be our youth through club programs like the Youth Exchange, Youth Parliament and Strive. The Strive program is an innovative educational partnership that supports youth in our local high school. Scholarships are awarded based on improvement in overall performance and is directed at students who may not normally qualify for a scholarship opportunity. 
Strive is unique to the Rotary Club of Hillsboro in the district and was brought to us by charter member Chief Justice David Jenkins in 1998. We wanted to have a project uh, that we could attach to that addressed youth, literacy, development, community service, and Strive uh, had it all. And uh, Strive encouraged them to see their potential and uh, to have to gain confidence. I went on to um, uh, do my degree at UPEI, um, Bachelor of Science. I'm actually graduating this year in May. and. Um, the money that I receive from the Strive Scholarship uh, has helped so much. I don't have to spend the time working at a job, so that allows me to have more time to um, focus on school and get involved in extracurricular activities at school. Youth Parliament, another important community program delivered with the Rotary Club of Hillsboro as the lead club, demonstrates that PEI's future is indeed in good hands. Since 1988, Province House has opened its doors to the leaders of tomorrow with a mock sitting of the legislature. While the MLAs from government and opposition are comprised of high school students from across the province. The young people debate topical subjects from privatization of liquor sales to health services delivery. The students have a wonderful time. In fact, this is one of the premier events that happens in the schools each year. Uh, the competition for positions uh, on Youth Parliament uh, next year have already started within the provincial high schools. Uh, the students see this as a wonderful opportunity. It's uh, a learning experience whereby they have fun. Uh, they make uh, new contacts. They get to meet the exchange students. And uh, they learn a lot about uh, themselves, uh, what they care about. Throughout the years, we continue to support many local charities with a focus on meeting the needs of our youth, such as a new playground for a local school, special sound systems in the school for the hearing impaired, equipment for area group homes, furnace oil grants in support of the provincial program, and church outreach programs at Christmas time. As well, Rotarians in local clubs have worked together for larger projects, such as the new soup kitchen in Charlottetown. Under World Community Service, we have some perennial favorites, including the Townships Project in South Africa, the Sugar Mill Academy Project in the Grenadines, Shelter Box Canada, and Farmers Helping Farmers. One of the really significant programs that Rotary has helped us with is uh, a program we put in place in uh, Ruju School. What we've done there is to put in place a school feeding program. The parents contribute. They they supply rice and beans for, for new, noontime. Uh, the school grows, has a, quite a large piece of land, they grow food. And uh, with Rotary support, we put in place a school garden, and that gives them fresh vegetables for the noon lunch. And the other thing is, with this feeding program, the children stay in school. And uh, we think that's the one key thing to making the communities better. If the girls stay in school, and they'll stay in school if they get lunch, and if they get lunch, they're educated, they know how to look after their families. Uh, they just make good decisions if they've been in school. It is the support of the local business community that enables us to carry out these programs and services in our local area and provide outreach to the international community. Your prize donations, dinner ticket purchases, and many services in kind all contribute to these success stories. We want to thank all of the patrons of our club and ensure that you know your support continues to be valued in a very significant way.